An 11-year-old is facing charges in juvenile court after being accused of assaulting a kindergartner on a Northview school bus. News 8's Kyle Mitchell's in the newsroom now with new reaction from the prosecutor and also Kyle details on the changes that the school district's making. Michelle and Brian, the school says it has made changes to where young students will sit on the bus as the Kent County prosecutor walks us through how this case will move forward. An assault of a kindergartner on a Northview school bus has led to juvenile assault charges for an 11-year-old. We reviewed the video just like we do in any other case, reviewed all the reports, so this was treated just like any other case, be it adult or juvenile, in terms of making the charging decisions that we did. The boy's father says his son got off the bus March 9th crying and with a bruise on his head. He says his son was hit and suffocated by a sixth grader while other students shot video. A statement from the district reads in part, quote, specific to our transportation department, we recently completed a thorough review of our processes and protocols, which led to increasing measures to ensure that our youngest students remain seated at the front of the bus at all times. The boy's father says he is content with the fact charges have been filed and is hopeful other children involved in the bullying have been disciplined. He feels the school should have done more to prevent this from happening. The Kent County prosecutor couldn't comment on the details of this specific case, but says the juvenile system has some differences. We can't send a juvenile to jail. We can't send a juvenile to prison. Uh, very often, it's a probationary sentence. Uh, it's, you know, for the very serious cases, we send them to a de juvenile detention lockdown facility. Those can cost up to $400 a day. There are also differences in how the probation system is set up. For an adult, you have a, a set term, two years probation, one year probation. A juvenile can be on probation until the court deems that juvenile's corrected behavior. The district says it reviewed the incident with the sheriff's office and determined no disciplinary action against the driver is warranted. In the newsroom, Kyle Mitchell, News 8.